Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Leatherman K2 folding knife and multi-tool. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel, by the way. So you see it's got that sheep's foot blade. It also has three different sizes of screwdriver. It's got a bottle opener. It's got a reamer. It's got a package opener and a little pry tool, right? And you saw it has a pocket clip too. The uh, handle scales are aluminum, comes in different colors. It's got an opening slot on the blade. Uh, the blade length is 3.3 inches. It's a partial hollow grind and the blade steel is 420 high carbon stainless steel. You can spidey drop it. The blade and the other tools all lock. So all locking tools on this here is a flyby for you. The red color on that aluminum, it's attractive. Made in the USA by Leatherman. Pretty useful utilitarian blade shape. Okay, we got a lot of usage footage coming up, pretty much the whole rest of the video. Here is the first task, utility task. If you had to break down a box, cut up a box at work or at your home for your recycling bin, this thing can work as a utility knife. If you forgot your utility knife or whatnot. So this K2 was $70. It's available on Amazon. I will include a link if you want to pick one up. And remember, prices are subject to change. Now, there are a few different models in this line. Uh, they have one that has a combo edge instead of a plain edge. And they have one that, has, that adds scissors, right? So I'm going to include links to all the different variations. Uh, you got the, the K2, the K4, and of course, some other Leatherman multi-tools will be there. All right, so it made short work of cutting up that box or those uh, pieces of boxes, I should say. Here's more utility cutting paracord. Yes, maybe you're camping. Maybe you're in the military. You got to cut some paracord. And here it is cutting some tubing, making some ranger bands. Did well. And here it is putting a notch on the stick of notch practicing. You want to do some bushcraft with your multi-tool? I try to do as many things as possible in reviews like this just because people have different missions for their multi-tool. So I just try to show a lot of, lot of different things in a short amount of time. So there's another notch. What else can we do? Well, here's the... Uh, the squashed Phillips screwdriver. That's my Kershaw Camp 12 machete. And we're unscrewing and then screwing back in uh, one of the screws that holds the handle onto the tang of that machete. And I've already reviewed that machete. All right, so there you go. You saw it unscrewed it. And we're <laughs> screwing it back in. Yes, this is the most thrilling, the most thrilling part of the video. I hope you're doing all you're all doing well and uh I hope you're not rioting or anything like that or getting some sort of plague. Um uh, what else could happen? No, I I shouldn't ask that. All right, so that was that screwdriver. All right, the bottle opener. Yes, now I had to I had to get that bottle from a friend because I no longer drink my calories. All right. Here's my, here's my, uh, oh, I almost said Leatherman, my Emerson Super Commander. The uh, pivot screw just happens to be the uh, right size for us to demo another of these screwdrivers. Now, because that screwdriver is also the package opener and the pry tool, it's not cut exactly like you would, it, it's, it's thinner than most screwdrivers would be, so it kind of, you know, it's not the, the best as a screwdriver, but in a pinch, it would be useful. All right, so there you go. Tightening the pivot screw. All right, there you go. That's a super commander. Okay, and here is the last screwdriver. This is the one that's at the end of the reamer, and it just happens to fit one of the screws that holds that G10 handle scale on that Emerson. So... Yeah, there's lots of lots of screwing going on in this video, but unfortunately, uh, you know, it's not the sexy, sexy kind. I mean, unless you're really into your multi-tools, then it is pretty sexy. All right, so those were the screwdrivers. Here's the package opener. 
So this thing is designed to be able to like cut, but because you're cutting with the corner, it's not going to cut too deeply, so it's not going to damage whatever is in your package. All right, so that, that's the uh, functioning of the package opener. And one more thing with this, this same tool. They say it's a pry tool. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy because, as you can see, all right, I choke up on it because... You don't want to, you, you could mess up your pivot. I mean, you could break it. You could cause side to side play. So I just choke up on it. But that, of course, limits the reach of it. So even though they're saying it's a pry tool, yes, in a pinch, it is a mini pry tool. But I would say be careful with it. Like, you know, com common sense should still apply. Right, but I, I did want to at least attempt to demonstrate that function because they say it can do it. So there you go. All right, here it is doing some paring knife type cutting. I'm not the best at like fancy, like kitchen type cutting, but this thing was very sharp. So it actually did really well. Now, originally I had planned to only get the model that has the scissors, but then they came out with these different colors and I said, hey, wait a minute, I, I can get a red one. Hold, hold up a minute, you, you talked me into it. All right, they're cutting up more food, some bok choy. I don't know if any, any backpackers want to use this to cut up their lunch or whatever. But if you do, it actually works very well. All right, next task. I finally got a deluxe ferro rod, fire steel there. Going to use the reamer as a striker on my new fire steel and it works very well because it's just because it's chisel cut as a reamer should be it's just very sharp and it produces a lot of sparks so there you go now at seventy dollars this thing if you considered it as only a folding knife with some 428c steel then the price would be kind of high but you have to consider it can do a lot more things here doing some carving when you consider all the other things it can do and that it is uh, attractive and of high quality then it starts to seem more worth it all right we are making a letter opener and when we're done with that we're going to use the reamer to put a lanyard hole in the letter opener and i sped this up four times uh, normal speed so don't worry it's not not going to be too long because we got stuff to do. I did do a paper test, paper cut test when I first got this. Uh, I'm not going to include it in the video because there's other stuff I'd rather include, such as uh, this more outdoorsy stuff, but it did really well on the paper. It can slice paper. Just take my word for it. I'm a paper ninja. All right, our uh, letter opener is going going along nicely and this will actually be a letter opener unlike you know the times that I said I was making a letter opener I was really making a shank but this I've actually been making actual uh, letter openers in my spare time so oh man so the birds are waking up here I don't know if you can hear that you might think it's in the background of the the footage but actually as I'm narrating this it's it's like very early morning and the birds are going crazy all right here is the reamer yeah, and I sped this up a lot because it takes a while to like hand drill a freaking hole, especially this reamer, you know, it has a screwdriver at the end. It doesn't, it doesn't have like a pointy tip at the end. So it took a little longer than most reamers, but it, it eventually did it. All right. So there you go. So the reamer does work. It just takes a little time, but it was very good at, you see that drilling that hole. And that is my finished letter opener with lanyard hole. I also hit that with some sandpaper just to uh, smooth it out and make it look nicer. All right, final thoughts on the Leatherman K2. I definitely like it. It worked pretty well. I mean, they managed to cram in a lot of uh, useful functions in a fairly compact design. The blade shape is very useful. It came sharp. It's, it's well made. I do think the different colors have basically saved this as far as a product that a lot of people are now going to buy because it, it does look very attractive in that red. When they first announced this tool, I was skeptical, but now that I have one in hand and I've used it for a lot of things, I've grown attached to it. I've grown to like it. So yeah, I like it. I, I do feel 
that it is worth the money. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this where the reviewer uh, demonstrates the item doing a lot of different uh, tasks, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Please try to use the links in the text description box. Those do help the channel. This has been We All Juggle Knives. All right, see you in the next video. I'm out.